Nazis. Nowadays it's called dissociative identity disorder or DID for short. It's quite common. Over 6 million people have been diagnosed in the last 20 years. How does it work? I'll uh, give you an example. Think of something you've done in the past that afterwards you really wished you hadn't. Got it? Oh, yes. Okay. Do you remember thinking that you simply couldn't understand how you ever did it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm afraid I do. Okay, good. Do you remember wishing you hadn't? What was it exactly that you really wished you had done? You see? It's gone. Bad behavior is dramatic, it should be easy to remember, right? And the dull stuff, dull moments, like when you're having a duck milk in the kitchen, should be harder to remember. But it is the opposite. You remember the milk in the kitchen much better than the bad stuff. I do too. Because we're all split. To some extent, anyway. Well, that makes sense, yeah. And if you're mentally unstable, the split may be much more pronounced. You go up a notch on the DID scale, so to speak. So if Annalise had sent those emails, she wouldn't remember doing it. Exactly. Wow. Exactly, because it's not like in the movies where one personality speaks with an accent and another quite normally, each with a different name. The thing is that split personality is usually far less dramatic than that. And let's also remember, it may not be Annalise who sent these emails at all. They could have come from anyone. Absolutely. Because any one of us can experience DID. Different personalities in a body can manifest any number of character traits. And quite independent of the everyday person. So, it's possible that we all have a side of us we don't know. I mean, that goes around sending weird emails that we never remember. Yeah, exactly. And logically, it must be impossible for us to know if we got a side like that, right? Exactly. Studies show that, that actually the transition from one identity to another can be very fluid. So often, you will only be able to send it slightly, if you dare, at all. <laughs> and people who do not feel anything will often find clues instead, like an object in your apartment that is suddenly not in its usual place. But that means that any one of us could have sent the emails. Yeah. In theory, yeah. Much as I dislike her, Annalise is a pretty sad case. And I just don't but think... That's the perfect comma. Alice is being an angry circuit war criminal. Shit, got to go. Go on, we're waiting. Oh, oh. Uh, fine, even fine. Fine. Thanks, Chris. Thanks. Yeah, <laughs> Take care of you.